Let's see. Are we on? Let's see. We're ready. And we're going to be uh, playing some more Return to Castle Wolf Viffen or Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Of course, I'm going to go to my sound and put my headset on here. And I thought I'd play more of this. It's actually a fun game, to be honest. Weapons of Vengeance. I don't know if I want to do, um, Don't Hurt Me or Bring Him On. I think Bring Him On, I guess. And we're going to re see that uh, cutscene that we didn't see. That we did see. So that way we know who those who missed the previous playthrough. Well, gentlemen, it's been 48 hours since our man Blaskowitz returned from Castle Wolferstein. That's given us ample time to digest his findings. Findings which are, to say the least, astonishing. That's an understatement, sir. The question I'm putting to you all now is this. What are the Nazis really up to? Well, sir, to put it bluntly, I don't think we know enough to answer that question. Really? But don't get me wrong. We've learned plenty about their capabilities. That alone scares the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. But... Yes, Jack? Well, there are two things that still bother me. Exactly what is this dark night they all seem to be so interested in? Well, what did our research come up with? Nothing. A complete blank. Well, it's obviously more of their jiggery-pokery raising the ghoulies rot. What's the second thing, Jack? The second thing is Death's Head. Now, here we have probably the single most dangerous figure in the entire Third Reich, and still, we don't have a clue about his connection to all of this. Death's head. Haven't our sources placed him at the secret rocket base in Catamarundi? Well, that's correct. In fact, as luck would have it, our man Blaskowitz is headed there now. He is? Yes. His orders are to infiltrate and sabotage the entire V weapons complex. With any luck, he might even get his hands on the latest experimental Cobra. The Cobra rocket plane? The very one. That's exciting news, sir. So, uh, what would you say, Jack, to my instructing our man to keep his eyes and ears open for any links to projects involving the, uh, paranormal? I would say that was an excellent idea, sir. Yep. Yeah, this is a stealth mission, so we'll put our stealthing skills to good use. to remote rocket base located near the Baltic coast where he intends to fire a V2 rocket at London for the 
London fitted with some kind of new chemical warhead. Your only viable method for it of infiltration is to stow away aboard a um, supply truck bound for the base. The rest of your gear will be deployed separately in two drop containers. In one of them, you will find the new OSA MIS Snooper rifle which has been shown to be highly effective for long range covert weapon. Due to the fact that this weapon uses very specialized ammunition, we can only issue you with limited amount. Also, due to its experimental nature, it is imperative that you recover this item lest it fall into enemy hands. The idea is light, the area is lightly guarded, but there are alarm stations scattered throughout. If any alarms are sounded, the base will be alerted and the mission will be scrubbed. If you encounter any enemies, eliminate them before they can sound an alarm. Remember, do not eliminate the final guard who controls his access into the compound. If you do, the supply truck will not be able, be able to uh, get inside the base. We're going to save the game. to do ray tracing in this engine. I would love to do ray tracing in this game. Somewhere. This is why we're going to save the game. I'm 
going to save the game right here. And we get the uh, the, uh, the M. I think that is the um, the M1911. And we get the M1 Garen, which is a nice gun. We will not be using the Garen. We will be still using this gun.
I just don't want to sound the alarm. If we can get that guy there, we won't have to worry. I mean, he'll have a car 98k. One major improvement with this mission in this mod of the base return to Castle Wolfenstein is to get the M1 Garand. Good old, uh, good, good old Garand, though. So we're going to have to sneak around all of them. And they give you rifles, so... It's not just a theory, it's a game theory. Yeah, I'm trying to do my Matt Pat impression, I'm trying to learn a few different impressions. I think this would be the best route to go. So we do have a rifle. It's a wonderful rifle. So we need our This would be the wisest decision to go ahead and just kill the dudes, but we're going to see the game. It would probably not be a great idea to kill them there, but Maybe we can sneak around. Mm. Don't know. Let audio down.
I know you can. That would be a good idea. Shoot him now. While well, we still can. Because we don't want them to be alerting. Based to our... Part of the UK. Our, uh, uh, and this watchtower. I don't even know if the watchtowers have, like... The alarms, if they just took them off. Well, that one at the very least. I think they took them out. In this mod. Then it would be just better to... To take them out now. So that way they don't, um, alert the German army to our presence. Do not want that. I'm curious to find out if this uh, tower has an alarm. I think it does. I don't think the other one has one. I think the other one they removed the alarm. But it is actually kind of cool. They were able to dispatch.
got Mr. Ping. Ping! Let Mr. Ping out. Yeah, these little conversations the, these the uh, soldiers will have really interesting. Can't have them uh, investigating. Finally, we get to use the M1 Garen. Good gun. Very good gun. We get, there's a Snoopa rifle, and we get our Thompson back, which we will not really be using the Thompson, the Snoopfield. That's quite an effective weapon, to be honest. Be a very good idea to shoot the that guy before he sounds the alarm. I don't think that there's a alarm there, but this um, weapon that we got here is one of my favorite weapons in any World War II style game, mainly because it is awesome. Save the game since we have not alarmed anyone. I just kind of feel like this, but I might not be doing. Get that piece. I want you Luger. Gotta have him. There's a 
probably some secret area where you can get crap. So we're gonna save. Save the game right here.
here. Grab all that ammo. You didn't have to waste all that ammo. But there is a secret area over here. We might as well grab all the ammo we can get. For various weapons. It's a shame that you don't get to keep all the weapons that you've collected from the previous. Which is kind of nice thing because it means we can be stuck this. This isn't as, as hard on this. As we're now used to. Protect the gold! Schnau! Schnau! We've got a little bit more ammo for our um, Thompson, the Tommy. Tommy is my favorite gun, but that's a good thing because that that is going to be a good gun to use. So let's go back and grab some more armor. Actually, this wasn't too bad. This was not too bad. MG42 or 43. I think either the 42 or 43. Placement. Let's kind of go back here and see if we can get more. If we've got any kind of weapon ammo. Nope. They gave us sparse ammo. get the STG-44 in the next mission, which is a, which is actually a very good, which is probably my favorite weapon in all World War II shooters, is the STG-44, and it's made the AK-47. 